Hi, I'm Wes from Brain West Photography, and today we're going to be talking about the Yang New 600 EX RT2 Flash. So, I'm a wedding photographer, and at one of my first weddings of the fall, um, I had this guy, the Canon 430EX R2, uh, bite the dust. Uh, just stopped working, and it joined the ranks of this guy, the 580EX2. Um, both were good speed lights, but both no longer work. So, as you guys already know, I decided on the Yang News, if that's even how you're supposed to say it. So, there's three reasons I decided to give the third party flashes a chance. One, reliability two, functionality, and three, price. Let's check it out. One of the main reasons to stick with Canon is that their stuff is tough and reliable. <laughs> but, you know, I have two broken Canon speed lights on my hands, so who's to say, you know, maybe it's not time to look elsewhere. Um, you know, I don't think that the build quality on these guys is gonna stand up to that of most of the Canon stuff I own, but, you know, uh, why not give it a shot? Number two is functionality. So this bad boy has all the same tech uh, squeezed into it that the new Canon 600 flashes have in them uh, for a fraction of the price. My favorite feature on this is the built-in radio transmitters. Um, so that means I can put one on my camera and fire another one across the room, which is huge and is exactly what I need. So I can control the speed light across the room from the one on my camera. So I can adjust the power of that one from this one, which is awesome. I couldn't do that with the triggers I had before, and it's a huge advantage. So basically, from what I can tell from my research and from using this, is it can do pretty much anything. I'm going to say everything that the Canon uh, 600 flash can do. So this brings to my third and most important reason for buying these things, price. <laughs> These flashes, I think they cost me $110 a piece. I think I could buy 100 of these for the price of one of those. So what have we got to lose? I mean, even if these things break and I only get to use them for a single wedding season, I mean, I'm still coming out ahead. So I've had these flashes for three weddings now and um, so far so good. I'm really happy with how they've worked. So let's take a look at some of the sample images. First up, the pros. Um, basically guys, these things work. Uh, when I press the shutter, they fire. The, the radio triggers fire the other light reliably every single time. There's just no getting around it. These things are good and cheap. The cons. One of the things that is really annoying with this is all the noise it makes. Uh, it beeps after every one and it beeps to let you know that it's recharged. And at a wedding, that's obviously not really gonna work. Uh, there is a way to turn it off, but it took me a while to figure it out, so I'll go over that now. Basically, you want to press and hold the button all the way on the far left of the flash, and that's going to open up a secret menu. Then you just scroll down to the uh, little speaker symbol, and click on that and go to off. The second con is the focus assist beam, uh, which I like to use at receptions to help me get focus, um, is really bright and kind of obnoxious. It's, it seemed to linger longer, so I was noticing it show up in some of my wife's photos as well as worrying about messing up the videographer. You can turn that off the same way. You go to that little hidden menu and you scroll down and it's in there as focus assist beam or something like that and you can turn it off. Another thing which was user error that uh, was kind of a learning curve with this flash is I turned the focus beam off, but then I wanted to turn it back on later, and I uh, it wasn't I turned it back on and it wasn't working. I didn't know why. It turns out I had switched my camera into Al Servo mode, and the focus beam wouldn't work with that. Now that might be the case with other flashes too, and I just never made that mistake. But it really threw me for a loop. In conclusion, I'm really happy with these lights. Um, so far, so good, and I think they work really well. Um, so I'll be sticking with Canon for my cameras for now, but. Um, you know, increasingly these third-party products are uh, catching my attention. Uh, these have worked out well, and I have a Sigma 50 Art Series lens that I completely love. Um, so let me know what you think. Are you switching to third parties, um, or are you sticking with the big boys? Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.